Welcome to part two of how to use Google Calendar Reminders, and part two video is how to use it on your phone. So there's about four, or I should say three and a half ways, if you will, to add reminders to your calendar um, on, the, on your phone, which also, you can also add events, of course, but we're talking primarily about how to use reminders. So the, on, on the screen here, you can see I've got the calendar shortcut. I just made a, a blank screen here, and uh, I have it on my home screen. Of course, I use calendar all the time. <clears throat> Pardon me. So uh, the first easy way, the obvious way, is you open up calendar. Oops. And then at the bottom right, you have your your plus, your little add action. Well, I think they call it an action button, whatever they call it. So you press it, and you click reminder. And then you, you know, get milk, for example. You type it. And when you do a reminder, it defaults to all day. You see that up there where it says all day? And there's no mouse here, so you can't, obviously you can't see where I'm pointing, but um, which brings it to the top, which is what I recommend you do for most reminders, unless there is a specific time that you want to set the reminder. Um, so that's, that's already default to all day when you set, when you create a reminder. The next issue, or the next thing to note is that under, you can create reminders for all of your attached um, email accounts uh, or Google accounts on your phone. So like in my case, most of them are going to be through Parsonex or my regular Gmail. If it's like this one, we'd get get the milk would be under on Gmail. So I'm going to change it because it'll be different. So I'm, and it's going to be today's date. So it actually uses, it uses today. <clears throat> but if you would for some reason want to set the reminder now, but you don't want to do it till tomorrow, then you would just change the date to let's say tomorrow. Okay. Then you hit save. Now, if I go to tomorrow, let me do that, Wednesday the 10th. Uh, first of all, you'll see that, there it is, get milk. So you've got different colors. You got in, in my case, I got blue and orange because blue is personal, orange is Parsonex in this case. So there's, or maybe it's the other way around. It's actually the other way around. Um, the point is, that's where I see the reminders. Like today's reminders, I have 19 reminders and I have seven reminders. I'm not gonna display them on the screen now, but if I click those, one, uh, I think orange is, personal and blue is Parsonex and you can have obviously as many as many accounts as you have attached to your to your account <clears throat> to your phone I should say it's really great because these show up just like I did in the other video the online you know the web-based video they always show up at the top and what's very nice is when you finish a reminder so if I went over here and let's say post Nick Murray around the year it's one of my reminders at the bottom right I hit mark is done I'm gonna go ahead and do that boom it goes away See that? And actually, when you go on the web, you'll st on the web version, your, your Chrome browser version of Google Calendar, you'll still see it, but it'll have a strike through through it. But here's the thing. This is one of the best features. The Get Milk, as an example, let's say I don't do it tomorrow. It'll roll over to Thursday until I either open it and delete it, which I can go in the upper, the three dots, the upper right, and delete it, or I can mark it as done. And that's one of the best features. Okay, so anyway, that was the, that was the one way to create the reminder, okay? Another way to create the reminder is, is you're back on your home screen, you've got your uh, shortcut. If you press and hold, I know, again, you can't see me do it, but if you press and hold, a little pop-up pops up, okay? Context menu, it's kind of like right-clicking in Windows. And now, one of the, two of the options are a new reminder, a new event. <clears throat> so if I click reminder, it takes me right to the reminder. See, there we go, so I can say, you know, get bread, and I can make it, you know, personal, which it is now, uh, my regular Gmail, or I can make it uh, Parsonex, and then again, it's defaulted to all day. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, you can do the repeat thing, too. Like I do, you might have saw a, a few moments ago, one of them said, uh, um, create or schedule the next MCOM, right, because I have to do it manually every week for Monday. Well, I have it set to do it every Wednesday, and I just have it on repeat every week. And so I do mark it done, but then next week it pops up again. So anyway, so let me discard that one. Let me go back to calendar. Okay, so another way to do it, remember I said it's like three and a half or four versions. Here's a, here's a really cool way. If you press and hold, now you have the, renew, the new reminder and new event. You can actually press and hold that with the grab bar on the right. Again, I know you can't see my finger move, but the, the grab bar to the right of, the, of where it says new reminder, 
you click and grab and then you can grab this reminder and make it its own shortcut so for me if you look at the bottom right my sec down here see I have it in here a new reminder because I do reminders so much I use them constantly I mean I got five I, I don't leave anything to memory to be honest with you and so I have I created it in here it's kind of my quick shortcuts but now it's that's why it's, it's really the same way of doing it as it is by holding the butt holding the calendar icon down and it pops up but I like the fact that I can drag it out and it's the same thing you click it and then there it is okay um, now the other way to do it though is to use Google Assistant and <clears throat> so for example if I'm going to use Google Assistant Sure, I'll remind you at 2.22 p.m. Okay, so a couple things. First of all, this is the built-in Google Reminders. So this will show, if I, if I now press on the screen where it says View All Reminders, it'll, it'll show up there, pick up the milk, okay? Um, and that's fine, and I, that, I use Reminders like that all the time. You know, I have a Pixel 3, which means I can just squeeze the sides of the phone and then automatically um, activates the... Uh, the Google Assistant. Uh, I have a bunch of home units at home, the Google home units, and I talk to it all the time. I can be in the shower and I can say, you know, um, hey Google, remind me to do such and such and such, whatever. It's great. It really is fantastic. What what's makes this nice, and the reason I bring it up in today's video, is because the Google Reminders, I'm sorry, the Google Assistant Reminders, the voice reminders, show up in the calendar. See? see right here it says pick up the milk that was it now there's one challenge with reminders I've been able to figure this out in order to create a reminder through the Google assistant the voice assistant like I just did you have to give it a time um, maybe there's a way to do it like the other reminders that show up at the top so that's why I said pick up the milk in five minutes or something or whatever I said I think it was five minutes because that, that way at least I can get it done I can get it on the list, but I but to make it all day, I don't. Maybe there's a code word. I haven't really played with it too much. I just tried it a couple times. It didn't work. So, um, but what I, the, my point is that Google Assistant reminders created by your voice, whether it's from your phone, from your Chromebook, or from your Google Home units, the key is this is the magic. They show up on the calendar, so now you have one place where all your reminders are, which I think is fantastic. Okay, and notice how it even has a little finger with, with, with the bow on it, so you know that it's a reminder, it's not a meeting. Because um, most reminders, of course, are, don't have a specific time. They usually have a date, but not a time. And uh, well, let me give an example of something else. If I go up here to go to this milk, if I'm inside a reminder like this one, which I, which I said earlier in this video for tomorrow, um, I, I can edit it, and I can give it a time if I want to. I can say not all day. In fact, I want to do it at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to save it and go out. So now, tomorrow, oops, tomorrow, oh, there it is. I'm sorry. This is tomorrow. Notice how now it's set here at, at, uh, at 1 o'clock, right? Even though earlier it was a reminder that so I can go back in and I can edit it and I can change, switch it to all day, save, Get out of there and now if you notice it's gone from one o'clock but it's back into the three reminders for tomorrow okay so that that is how you can use reminders oh and there's one other thing you can create a let me jump over see this this is a widget that I use not that I want you to go through all my little things here I had removed some of them but anyway this is a widget that showed that I, it, to me it's it's on the second screen from the right and it shows me all right all my meetings and, and everything else right on the right on the calendar including the reminder I can press right on the reminders like here's pick up the milk right uh, 222 I can click right on it so that's how you use reminders um, that's how you create them that's how you can view them they're all part of calendar uh, there are better and, and I shouldn't say better but there are more robust calendar sorry reminder programs and tasks but the fact that it integrates with the calendars I can attach it to a particular account it shows up on my phone I can even go to my Google Home I know a lot of you have Google Home and say you know hey Google show me all my reminders and it does that and it's easy to add it by voice and it's all in one place it's on the calendar so that's why I like it hopefully that helped and um, take care